Now that we made a micro potato launcher, let's make a micro potato gun. Just gonna use a couple things we just got around the house here. Scrap piece of PVC, PVC T, travel size medicine tube container, candle lighter from the dollar store, ink pen, couple push pin tacks. Alright, first thing we'll do here, we're going to cut the top of this tee off. Alright, now we got the top of the tee off. Let's go ahead and sand the inside edges here so we can get a get a better fit than what we got. For leaving these edges here we'll go ahead and use a Dremel with a little drum sander on it. Okay now we got it sanded. Let's do a little test fit and see how she'll, how she'll match up. Pretty good little fit there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use a little lathe. It's just convenient. You don't really need to. You can use whatever. But we're going to cut the bottom out of the, out of the medicine bottle here. This is helps get through the thick plastic, makes it a little easier to get the utility knife in there. Okay, now we got it roughed out. Let's clean it up with an X-Acto. That'll work. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and make our barrel. Take a pin. We just want to use the outside of it here. So I found out this little end cap right here. Off these little little pins, they make a nice button right here to put on the end of the spark igniter. Easier on the finger. Let's go ahead and wrap the barrel with some tape. We'll fit it to the combustion chamber. Once you think it's pretty close, give it a test fit. Okay, once you once you get the barrel down and established inside the combustion chamber, we'll go ahead and take some tape. And we'll tape the barrel to the combustion chamber. Alright now we got that done we're gonna go ahead and we'll take the candle lighter apart and start taking the internal components out that we need. Okay get the, get the candle lighter apart we're just gonna take a small Phillips here Okay, once you get her apart, we're going to use a couple of these components inside here. For one thing, there's a little igniter. We're going to use this. The little, the little tube that transfers the butane, we're going to use that too. So try to try to save that. We'll go ahead and get these out of here. Okay, so we're down to basically everything we're going to need. Spark igniter, little tube, transfer the butane. Okay, the next thing to do is add our little electrode. I like to come up about 20 millimeter off the bottom of these little ones here. Make a mark. Twenty millimeter. Okay, got the push pins in. 
For the launcher, I usually go at a V, push the push pins in at a V. But for the potato gun, I wanted to go straight across. You can see how the uh, how the, how the pins look inside. The gap will be a little bit wider once I wrap the wrap the wire around the electrodes here, around inside the push pins. But the reason I went like this is to when I go ahead and set it inside the chassis, I can hide the wires a little bit better. Okay, for the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out and mark where we want to put the injection nozzle. It looks like a good spot right there. We're going to go ahead and drill and insert the injection nozzle in the tube. This is going to inject the butane in. Okay, I measured the fitting and it's 69 thousandths. So looking at the chart, the number 50 drill bit's 70 thousandths. We want a real good, real good press fit, so let's go ahead and drill it. Drill it straight. now we got that done we're going to go ahead and make the handle get the igniter inserted in the handle as a trigger we'll work on that okay now we got the handle a little bit established now we're going to sand the inside of the bottom of the handle a little bit before we can get the Bic lighter in there now we're going to go ahead and drill a hole in the handle for the trigger which is going to be the igniter here I measure it's going to take about a quarter inch hole Okay, now that we got the, the hole drilled in for the igniter, we went ahead and did a little bit of filing to make sure we got a good fit and it slid in there. Had to make a little relief for the wires to go through. Then we just put some epoxy around it and seal it back up. Okay, now we got the button done. That makes it a little easier on a trigger finger. Okay, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add the, add the little tiny Bic lighter in the handle that we filed out to accept it. And then we're going to slide the, the little supply tube up through here. Okay, now we'll hook it to the chamber. Alright, now we got the, the T back on there, basically the frame with a micro spud gun here. Now we're going to go ahead and I put just a little bit of epoxy around the around the fitting. It's going to accept the butane also just to make sure. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble the supply line, wrap these wires around the electrodes, shorten them up, see what we need and wrap them. Okay now that we've got the supply line as well as the electrodes hooked up, we're going to go ahead and put a little epoxy on here. Epoxy the micro spud gun to the handle okay now we went ahead and got the combustion chamber epoxied to the handle we got our lighter in, our supply line attached we got everything set inside got a good spark we'll go ahead and load her up give her a test shot, see how she does Okay, now that we loaded a potato in the barrel, we'll take the ram here, take the end cap off, take the ram, ram it down in the barrel, put the end cap back on, a little button there on a the lighter, we can hit that with our little finger, about a two second blast, see how that does. Not a bad job. That's my attempt at a micro butane powered spud gun.